Hello guys and welcome to That Model Man Episode 3 Or is it Episode 2? <laughs> I honestly can't remember Because I've made an Episode 0 Right A little intro there There with a little um, jingle Not too sure on it yet And then just come out from the uh, notice board there Which has all the information for following me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google Plus and underneath I'll come back to that in a second uh, there's not going to be much changed in the ro this room this time around uh, I'm mainly going to be talking about bits and bobs and what's going to be coming on the channel over the next month or so but one thing that has changed is I've had to change the window around um, not only to let a little bit more light in because I've only got the little square in the top corner there but um, to allow condensation to dry off so we've had to as you can see I've had to prop it up with things in there and we've had a bit of a change around move the glass house onto the top here for a bit of display and uh, you can s it shows off all the pictures and that's inside it now um, but yeah it's not going to get used now that and then the DVDs are down there it's the only way I could think to do it and it actually works a lot better than it was before Ooh, you can hear Storm Doris as I'm recording this um, blowing away now in the layout cupboard I know a lot of you said you weren't too keen on this bit um, the name might be tweaked but we've had a little bit of planning done I've been um, marking out but other than that not a lot has changed like um see I've moved on arrows and that but not a lot has changed at all in the layout cupboard so let's shut that door and uh, you might remember the uh, my old ports had a damaged mirror and the is IV one also the damaged mirror. Now I've salvaged the parts from the ivy well, which were broken on repair and then the ore ports lost completely. Uh, I've took the ones off the ivy the bits that I could salvage and I've reconstructed a mirror for the ore ports. It means ivy hasn't got one but so be it. And of course I've also restuck on the mirror for a maintenance fan so now it's just one model that's damaged so that that's that's bearable I can live with that I really can so right on to the next segment that I've found that I was talking about the other day on uh, one of my Facebook groups and um, that's a new spotter book that you can get it's unofficial but it's the full fleet Stobart, Stobart Energy, Rail, Airports, um, Explore, WS. They did have BCA in the old edition, but it doesn't in this one. And it's by ST Publications, and this is Eddie Stobart Fleet's 2017. I mean, it's as up to date as it can be, but I mean, when the 2017 plates come out in this month, as this one goes live, um, it won't have them in it of course but it's um yeah good book very good book spotting book made by spotters it says on the front specialist transport publications that's what st stands for and literally it's got the full stobart fleet in three times in different orders like reg order fleet number or name order and then you've got um i'll show you through it the contents in the front uh, then you've got your auxiliary vehicles which is your vans and then you've got your South End Airport vehicles, Stobart European WS Transportation and Explore and then Stobart Rail and it even tells you what uh, the pictures were on the front and there's one on the back as well which is quite nice the white, white mate with the white tanker Yeah, it's very good. Well, it's not as clearly laid out, of course, as the um, official book with the lines between each one. But I mean, 
this is looking at it in registration order and uh, very nice it, the ESL is down here that tells you what livery it's in and this little code here these codes here are just tell you somewhere here we are livery and depot codes and uh, yeah it's very good very good indeed ST publications again there's the website I bought it off um, it used to be £14 book but now it's £11.50 and it's payable by PayPal which is always a good thing so next up on this week well, this month's episode of That and Mild Man, uh, I've been purchasing off Hatton's Model Railways. And now they're doing something a little different. Instead of their catalogue being purchasing, they have this. And it tells you all about them. And then on the back, how to contact them. And how to leave feedback for them. Which is quite new. Never had that before from them. So, what did I buy of Hattons? And of course, these will feature in Model Reviews Series 10. We've bought the brand new Oxford Diecast Ford Transit Mark III Eddie Stobot Fleet Maintenance Fan. Very good little model there. As I say, Please do check out the model reviews and I will give a full in-depth look and review of these models. Next up is the brand new N-Gage Stabart Rail with the new design uh, semi-trailer which they've just released in the 76 scale. Just realised there's no wing mirrors on the N-Gage. I'll have to check all the others now and make sure there's wing mirrors on them. I've never noticed that before. And lastly, this time round anyway, we have the Stobart Power mobile generator trailer. Uh, which currently sits in Rugby Depot and doesn't move. Because this was, of course was a um, Stobart Group Enterprise. And now, of course, this trailer is owned by William Stobart and is Eddie Stobart Logistics Business. And, of course, the cab unit, which is an 11 plate, has been gone quite some time out of the fleet now. Quite some time. Right, so that's a quick look at what I've got from Hattons. Uh, as I do say again, please go and check them out on the Model Review Series 10. If I remembered, I've put the link for that below in the description. If not, just go and find it. You'll find the uh, image still thing for the video is the. We'll show you what it is, and of course, video title as well. All right, moving on to the next bit. I have got you for you this month. Now, these four buses. I showed you these in the new year. Uh, this is from Model One. Uh, these buses will be repainted shortly. I'm just sorting out everything still and because I haven't taken anything to be sold yet or whatever. So do keep an eye on that as well. And there might be a short brief Model Man update which will um, show you what's going for sale here, there and everywhere. Um, but yeah, these buses will be going for paint soon and I might, if you're lucky, show you a video on paint, me painting one of these up. And then also decoiling it up, ready to join my fleet. Um, I'm in toying where I want to be, which little fictional route I'm showing this on. And I've chosen on my Leicester Nottingham Derby route. And of course, so that'll probably be changing name. Because at the moment it's called Coaster City Express, because it goes on to Alton Towers as well when it's Alton Towers season. But I'm thinking I might keep the uh, coaches that run that uh, for Alton Towers only. And then running these as the city buses. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see on that one. 
Now when it came to my bus fleet, I want to look at keeping them. Uh, we have had some casualties, we've got some mirrors there. I don't know which vehicles they came from because some of my vehicles don't have mirrors to start with and then the ones that they've fallen off I don't know which ones they've fallen off but oh well never mind I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point so that about wraps up this month's episode of That Model Man uh, as I say there will be perhaps uh, short burst ones popping up this month as well which will also count as, a, uh, as an episode but they'll be like well, this one's title name but they'll be like B or C and stuff like that on part but anyway these are the uh, ways to get in contact and follow James Bryant Photography Models across the uh, interweb YouTube as you are already watching it James Bryant 08 uh, Facebook photography dot models Twitter it's at stabotfan18270 uh, Instagram it's uh, photography underscore models uh, Google Plus the link to that is directly on the YouTube page and then don't, don't also don't forget about my model bus page at facebook.com slash jbt nottingham uk and then there's also my Stobart group that I run uh, for Stobart fans and that's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash Stobart Pixbot and the group name is Stobart and WS Facebook fan group but as I've put here there is joining rules which do apply uh, if you want to get onto that uh, but I'm sure most of you are good boys and girls who want to uh, join on that when you're a fan of Stobarts and this will be shout out area so if you would like a shout out uh, do uh, inbox the Facebook page don't comment below inbox the Facebook page but if I haven't got any by next episode full episode I will um, just choose the people that have commented the most on the last few videos, videos and they will get a shout out regardless and that's how the shout out board will work so thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time here on YouTube bye guys have an awesome month